Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Bellamente y Tu y Yo. And today, you guys, it's time for the month of May's final closeout. Yeah, okay, what does a closeout entail, you might ask? <laughs> It simply means that we're going to use the last monies that will be paid in the month of May in order to fulfill any sinking funds, cash envelopes, savings challenges, or debt trackers, as well as pay any final bills for the month if there's anything that's still due, and close it all out to a zero balance. And if that sounds like something that interests you, seeing me work out all the details to close out the month of May and move fresh into June tomorrow, then let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, so it's time for us to get started with the video. Before we get started, let me show you guys my newest purchase. I'm not over my mood ring, trust me. I'm ordering some probably as soon as I get done filming this video, but I do like this, and this is actually a light-colored amethyst. It looks like it's something else because it's a quartz or something, because it's so, is it quartz? No, I don't know. But it looks like it's something else because it's so fair, so pale, but it's actually lavender in color, and it's a light amethyst. And so someone made this for me, and I love it, and so I'm wearing it today, but, um, yeah, I think my mood ring is about to make its grand appearance, reappearance, okay? All right, let's get on to the budgeting part. So per usual, I'm using the Easy Cash Budget Extended Planner. This planner is one of the planners that I created. They're all linked down below my Amazon storefront, but I will put a playlist of all the planners up here, and that way you can look for a planner that actually suits your budget, whether it be weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. See which one best fits you. The videos have a page-by-page -page flip through of not only the planners, but also the savings challenge books. And if you find the one that you like, you could just head down to my storefront, click the link and shop there, okay? All right, so let's get started. Can you believe we have already made it to June? Like, it came, oh man, let's not forget, okay. Um, it came so fast this month, the month of June. I feel like May flew by. April, I was like living my best life and then, you know, April, May just flew by and now here we are, June, on to new endeavors for the summer. So anyway, let's see what's going on. I need to first budget for everything that's left here that I didn't budget for. And then we'll look at what I did the other pay periods and come up what I'm gonna be doing this particular pay period, okay? So for Etsy, last time I only budgeted for half of my Etsy income, which was 1,800, so we'll be doing another 1,800 today. Um, YouTube income, we already budgeted for that completely. And then my nursing income of $600 ended up being $430. So I'm going to do $1,800 plus $430. And do I not have a calculator? What am I thinking? All right, let's see. I'm going to be using a Sharpie today. So yeah, we'll do Etsy, $1,800, and then nursing, nursing $430. So let me get the calculator. Oh, calculator, Mr. Calculator. Okay, 1800 plus 430. That is $2,230 that we have for this pay period. Um, and now we need to work on what bills need to be paid out of that. So let me flip back to the monthly budget. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I pretty much paid everything except for my AT&T and I wasn't marking it off on here. What was she thinking? Hold on, let me see. Stream, water, LLC, Xfinity. Stream, water, LLC, Xfinity. Yeah, AT&T. I didn't pay anything off the next one. Yeah, I thought it was just my AT&T bill, which is $390. So we'll be taking that out. That's the only bill really that I need to pay. So, and I do need to start adding in lawn care because I had a little stash for that, but we're through with that. So I need to start paying him. We have 2230 minus 390 equals 1840. So that's how much we have to actually play with for today. So let's see what we're going to do with that money. First and foremost, let's look at the cash envelopes that we have. Let's see, for me, I know I took, didn't I take my money out? I feel like I did, yeah, I did. I took my money out, so there's no more left for me for right now, but okay, that's okay, because Girlfriend's Nails is looking bomb regardless, right? Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. All right, Girlfriend's <laughs> was supposed to have $950 total. I did 130, 235 right here, and that's it? Oh, because I put some extra out of that 700. Okay, so let's just say, if we had 950, let's do 200 to regular groceries and 150. So this might not be exact because I forgot if you were here with me before, um, 
we'll put a total of 350. If you were here with me before, I actually took out some money from my savings and did some things real quick for graduation and then budgeted that out each time I got paid. Like right here, I put $400 back to my savings and then I did it again for 340 right here for a total of 740. But I don't remember how much of that I actually put towards groceries, this or that, you know? So that's where I messed up. You know what? It's all good. We're moving forward, right? We're moving into June just in one day, okay? All right, um, dining out is supposed to get $100. I didn't put anything towards cash envelopes the second pay period. So we're literally talking about the first pay period. Dining out, I put 25, but I'm sure I put some out of that other. So I'll put dining out 50. Can she spell dining out? Not when she's tripping. Okay, dining out 50. I think I'm gonna put half of every single sinking fund. Cause if I remember, I put a quarter of the sinking funds out of that video. So Duncan will get 50, gas will get 50, and fun will get 50. All right, and then date night. Mm, maybe I'll put 25 in date night. 25. Okay, is that everything? I feel like that's all the cash envelopes. Yeah, let's go ahead and add that up and hope my calculator can make it through this video. Um, can I budget for a new calculator? Because this is what I need. My goodness. This thing with the zeros acts up and got me calculating things like I don't know how to use a calculator. Okay. Stop complaining. Just go buy one, ma'am. All right, that's $575. Let's go ahead and budget in a calculator right now. Just kidding. <laughs> 1840 minus 575 is $1,265 left for us to budget for sinking funds and savings challenges. Now, let's see what we did and what we need to do. IOU goes down here. Okay, that's great. Let's see, for sinking funds, the first pay period, I didn't put any sinking funds except giving. The second one, I did me, Jace, Janae, Gingy, and household. I fulfilled all those. So hold on. All right, this is what I should have been doing all along. Jace, Janae, Salisa, and household is already, oh, and Gingy is already fulfilled. So we just need to fulfill all these other ones. So give me a second, let me carry over these categories and then we'll talk about it. For sinking funds, these are all the dollar amounts and the categories. I'll be doing medical for 150, B days 50, clothes 100, travel 100, car 100, life happens 100, beauty 100, and then glasses and HOA both 30. So every single one of these categories can get highlighted now. And the only thing we need to think about is how much money we're going to put towards giving. So let me figure that out. Hold on. All right, we're gonna do 10% of whatever it is that we got paid. So that'll be about $230. We'll just put 230. So let me go ahead and add up all of this and see how much we have left. Okay, that equals $990. Oops. And when we take that from 1265, that's $275 left. And now we need to fulfill um, this IOU for sure. We're not doing the graduation binder anymore. We already did everything we needed to do with that. Savings challenges, we will put some towards that. We also need 200 towards home rentals. So let's start with home rentals. 200. So that means we literally have $75 left and we'll put that towards savings challenges. 
which includes another 35 of that to be going towards the IOU. So literally we have 75 plus I have some float out of my cash wallet. So I'll show you guys that later. So 275 minus 75 is going to be 200 minus 200 is going to be zero. So let me just copy all this at the bottom and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, let me add all this up. 2230 minus 390, 575, 990, 275. So yeah, that equals zero. What we'll be cash stuffing today will be the $1,840. So I will leave the 390 in the bank to pay my AT&T bill. And all the rest of this cash will be coming out and we'll be doing a large cash stuffing for the month end of the month of May. So let me go ahead and get set up for the cash um, stuffing portion of this video. I already knew the only bill I had to pay was AT&T. So I pulled out the $1,840 from the bank and now we can get started. So give me just one second to set everything up. All right, so I think we're all set up and ready to go. We're gonna start with the cash envelopes as well as the coins when we first get started. But before we start it up, let's count it up, right? We should have $1,840 and I just got a variety of bills and I actually got quite a bit of small bills too, which is unlike me but I wanted to make sure I had enough for all the categories. So let's go ahead and count it up. There's one, two, three, four, five, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 10, 50, 11, 20, 40, 60, 80, 12, 20, 40, 60, 80, 13, 20, 40, 60, 80, 14, 20, 40, 60, 80, 15, 20, 40, 60, 80, 16, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 17, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 18, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, or 7, 38, 39, and 40. Y'all, that's a lot. That's a lot of bills is what that is. This could have been a, if these were all hundreds, this would be $10,000. It would be a band of hundreds, like 10,000. But instead, it's $1,840. <laughs> all right, let's set it up on the table. Hold on one second. And all these 50s, I played myself, but I was like, what if I got a lot of cash envelopes and sinking funds that need $50 bills? I'm not going to have no change. So I got all this change. Nah, I got all this change. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let's set her up. Set her up. Wapush. There it is. All right. Let's move on. Do Phineas and Fiona first because they need to get off the table. Um, this is my Moturn wallet, beautiful, and I am still loving it, incredibly loving it. I don't have a lot of money in here because, you know, I spent it. But anyway, um, <laughs> here goes my coin pouch, and I don't have a lot in here, but I do have some. Oh, and then I have all my ones. Get back in there. Stop telling my story before I get a chance to tell it. Okay, that's all the coins I have. Was that everything? Oh, no, that was not everything. Hold on. Hold on. Talk on it. Not me fighting with a little wallet to get a coin out of here. Get out of there. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay. Let me sit that to the side for a second. Let's get Mr. Phineas first because we only got one penny. All the pennies go, all the pennies go in Mr. Phineas. He's so cute. These um, piggies, I got them from my bank that I bank with, or credit union, but you actually can um, order them on Amazon. There's a link down below to my Amazon storefront and they're linked down there. I think the little pigs are in a three pack though, so be mindful of that, but the big one, show enough is down there. And that is Miss Fiona. All right, Phineas and Fiona are saying goodbye. Even though coins are important, we get into some bills. All right, cash envelopes are up next. Like I said, there's hardly anything in there, but oh, what I do have, <laughs> <laughs> it's some more ones. So y'all, did I spend or did I spend on Memorial Day weekend? You let me know. You let me know. Because all I got is some ones to show for it. I had did a little mini cash stuff and some money so I wouldn't use my debit card. And uh, it resulted in these. That's all I got left. Just, <laughs> just this. Anyway, oh my goodness. Look what's on front. Look what's up front and center. 
a friend is looking for B books. And so um, that's Mr. He Budgets. I'll go ahead and put his page here on the screen. You guys check him out. He said to save B books and I watch his channel. So yeah, I should put this aside, but not yet. Okay. <laughs> Let's count it up. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many B books did I have? I don't even look for letters typically. I never see a C. Oh, there's another B. I never see a C ever. Like, I don't see the letter C ever on one of these. And that's from my name. So, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Was it only 16? Why in my head did I have imagined that I had 27 in my hand? It's only 16. Let me get off these B-Bucks and get back on track. Okay, $16 going in because minimally that will be going to the character scratch off. I decided whatever ones I pull out of my little leftover rollover type situation in this wallet, I'm going to put it towards the character scratch off challenge. Try to get that done with just those ones so I can see how fast they add up. All right, now let's get onto the wallet. Stop playing. It's time to get moving. All right, let's start with Stunkin, which is also Dunkin' Donuts. So it's either Dunkin' or Starbucks. That's why I say Stunkin' and it's gonna get $50. And I'm literally just going to put a few fives, put a few tens, like, you know, like try to keep it kind of small and large bills for these categories. Groceries is gonna get $200 in here and $150 in the sinking fund, 20, 40, 60, 80, one. Two. 51, 20, 40, 60, 82. And my son's also giving me some money for groceries right now. So yeah, your girl's coming up, okay? Coming up with a whole bunch of dishes to cook, okay? <laughs> Next is dining out. Dining out's getting 50 as well, 20, 40, 50. And somebody asked me like, what type of restaurant are you guys going to go sit down in? I'm like, we ain't sitting down in no restaurant for $50 for three people. It's me and my daughter and my son, but typically my daughter, she's been on like a health kick right now, so she doesn't like eating out anymore. Love the trend, okay? That's less money for me to spend. So this is just me and my son, $25. Like, I wanna go to All You Can Eat Shrimp at Red Lobster. I know it sounds so basic, but that's $20 a person. This will be enough for that. Next is me, and I'm not getting anything because my nails are already taken care of. And then date night, I'm gonna put $25. I still have a 20 left in here, so we'll put another 25, and that'll be a total of $45. And that category. Don't you think it's important for women to pay sometimes too? Okay, gas, $50. We'll just put 220, no, we'll put 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. I had to get rid of some of those fives. That's gonna go over here in gas. Weekend fun, we went and saw the middle, Little Mermaid, so that is completely done, but it's getting $50 for today. So we're gonna see what we're gonna get into next. The pool opened in the front of my subdivision, so we swim almost every day for free, y'all. Okay, we out there swimming every day. If I gotta pay the homeowners association, then I'm gonna use the pool. All right, so that's it for my cash envelopes. Let's move on to some sinking funds. All right, here's my sinking funds. We're going ahead and get. We're gonna go ahead and get started. But Janae, Jace, and myself, we don't get any cash this time, and neither does household because we already funded it the last time that we did a cash stuffing. The ceiling fan is blowing my pages around. Okay, and then birthdays is gonna get 50 and I'll just put a $50 bill. Let's see what birthdays has now. Okay, so it has a total of 51, 50, 200, which is good. Jace's birthday is not until August, so I got some time to build up some money in there and he doesn't really usually ask for a lot. Medical is gonna get 150. We'll just put 150. And this medical fund, I really need to figure out if I'm going to like disperse it into something else because now, you know, I'm returning to the hospital and expenses are paid 100% as long as I um, have service there. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I need such a beefy medical fund at this point, you know, my premium is going to come out of my paycheck and it's very minimal because I work for the hospital. So I just don't know, but let's count it up right now. We have one, 52, 53, 54, 55, 20, 40, 60, 80, 96. 655. So $655. I'm not sure I'll need right now, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just decrease the amount that I actually stuff in this as we go forward. You know, like when I do my June budget, really don't put so much there. Clothes is going to get $100. Let's do 20s. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 
clothes up here. Come on out. Come out. Bring them out. Bring them out. All right, there we go. So clothing is going to get 1, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 425, $425 for clothing. Travel is going to get $100, which I'm super excited about because you guys, today I went and got some 20, 40, 50. Hold on. Let me get the right bills before I messed it up. You already know how I go. Okay. So today I went and got some ramen, some like tonkatsu ramen and some edamame and like, um, what are those? Uh, tokoyaki i think they're called like octopus balls or whatever i mean there was a lot going on okay and so i was out and we were eating some japanese food and i was thinking in my head maybe i don't need to go to japan as much as i just need to eat their food <laughs> so now i don't know but anyway let's go ahead and count it up there's 51 52 53 320 43 50 and now that there's japanese food here that tastes you know decent so i like to like try a lot of different cuisines so now that it's here and it's decent I'm like, maybe I don't need to go to Japan. That's that's a joke. I really do want to go to Japan. Okay, Gingy, no. Beauty is empty, been empty, because folks been trying to be summertime fine around here. 20, 40, 60, 81. I, um, oh, you know what? Maybe let me just put a $100 bill. Stop playing around. Put a $100 bill in beauty and call that 100 a day. There we go. Yeah, I want to get my hair rebraided right now. I've had these in for a month and a half. I love them, but I want to go red for the summer. Like, I'm that girl. She want to be a daredevil. Uh, groceries is going to get $150. And right now it has... Right now it has... Right now it has... Hold, please. 1, 2, 53, 50, 70, 90, 410, 430, 450, 470, 480, 485. 485. 1, 2, 3. Yeah. $485 in groceries. That's good. Don't tell me I can't have a barbecue when I want to. Don't tell me, okay? All right, uh, Life Happens is gonna get $100. Let's put two fifties. Life Happens. Life has not happened recently. I love that for me, so I can stack this back up. 51, 52, 220, 40, 60, 83. $300 for Life Happens, that's good. Homeowners Association is gonna get 30. I told you guys, if I got to pay this money for this pool, we using the pool, okay? 10, 20, 30. I put a video on Instagram of me swimming out in the pool. 20, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 140. And Homeowner Association only needs 300 for the year and it's not due till January, so we have plenty of time. Glasses needs 30 and it's not time for their glasses. They just had eye exams from last year's money, so they're good. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 30, 40, 45, 150. Back down, wind. I was trying to flip my page. It's the um, ceiling fan. Y'all know I got the ceiling fan installed up here. And when it's on, it just be whipping air all over the place. Somebody at Home Depot told me that I need to look for the wind speed um the wind speed on the box why did they mess around and tell me that I, went, I tried to get one that goes outdoors okay and he was like you can't get that kind because that's for outdoor areas that's too much wind for a room i'm like there's such thing as too much wind in a room who knew okay um anyway for giving i'm supposed to do 230 dollars total let's do 80 50 70 80 and the reason why i'm doing 80 is because that math is easy for me 80 minus 230 will be 150 for regular giving. So let's do this one at 51, 50, 70, 92, 210. 210 in YouTube giving, that built up pretty quick because I think we had 300, almost 400 when we did the last live. So it's telling me it's almost time for another live. Do I want to zip? No, I don't want to zip that. Okay, next regular giving then is going to get 150 and I'll just do 100 and a 50. And we have in here... One, 150, 70, no, one, 150, one, 70. one, 150, two, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 330 dollars. See, when I started counting, I started getting so nervous about those um, 20s that I was going to have to say 70, 90, and I got all off track. But anyway, that's it for the sinking funds. Next on the list, let's go ahead and handle the debt tracker. We should have $275 left, but I feel like this might be more. There's a little bit more from the ones. So let me just make sure I'm kind of in the ballpark. I think I skipped something. Do you guys know what I skipped? Okay, 50, no wait. Okay, one, no. One, 
20, 40, 60, 82, 220, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 320, 370. Oh, I'm only supposed to have 275. What'd I miss? Anybody know? Can anybody help me? Y'all, I didn't try to add and subtract and divide and multiply. And none of it adds up. So I don't know where that extra money came from. But what I do know is we about to put it into a savings challenge and just keep moving. And later when I find it during editing, I'll fix it next pay period. There'll be plenty to fix it later because at this point, I don't know where that extra money came from. Where'd it come from? <laughs> okay. We're going to do the home renovations. Let's go ahead and mark down the month of May. Boy, we have been shorting this thing. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. May, $200. And today is $531. Wow. Pay $200. So there's a total of... 6,800. I already had a thousand in that envelope that was for the floors, but I also had a thousand in that envelope that was for a new dryer. I took it out when my sink and all that stuff got messed up. So there's should only be the thousand in here. And now we're going to put another 200. There's one, 20, 40, 50, two, 50. All right. So now we have 1,000 in the bank and then one, 50, 70, 90, 200 dollars going towards the flooring. And I really am okay with that because I'm expecting that once I actually get my nursing, you know, paychecks, I'm gonna be knocking this out like just crazy. Okay, we're gonna just set it ablaze. All right, so there goes that. All right, the rest of this cash is supposed to be able to go to savings challenges. So let's go ahead and close the book so the wind doesn't make it, you know, go crazy over there. And let's go ahead and tackle the character challenge first, especially since I got some of this money out of my rollover. This is the character scratch off challenge. It is double sided. Everything on this page is between one and 20 when you scratch the dots and everything on this page is between one and 30. We're gonna start on this side. Even though I only had $16 in rollover, I do have some other money for savings challenges. And now I have some mystery money that came out of nowhere. So we definitely have enough to scratch one on each side. So let's get to it. All right. You guys said do the scratch offs first and then I won't ever run out of money when I do other things second. I'm listening to you guys. Okay, so let's see which one's coming first. My finger keeps tapping, tap, tap. Oh! This is the extra special, whoa. This is the extra special, special one. It says friends forever. Okay, so if here you scratch friends forever character, you pick your own amount to save. Hmm. Should I just do the 16? Nah. I already have an IOU for this for $35, so let's not play and put the 35 down here. Okay, that's number one. Then we need to pick an amount that we want to put. I think I'm going to put 15. My rollover is 16, and that's kind of like, kind of like in the same vicinity. So we're going to put 16. So that, 15. So that'll be a total of 20, 30, 40, 45, $50 going into the character challenge. $50. That's a lot of moolah. That's a lot of moolah. Okay. But... Uh, it's not so much that I shouldn't be able to organize it, right? Like, come on, it's very simple, lady, come on. All right, here we go. I don't know if you guys know, these corners, ooh, they get me. I don't like them bent, they mess up my count. All right, 20. What? <laughs> not because the corner's bent, I can't count 100, stop it. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 210, 15, 20, 25, 26. $226 for the character challenge. If you guys are interested in this character envelope or the character scratch off, Etsy, okay? You already know what to do. So that's it for today. We did one on each side. I'm gonna try to do one on each side and fulfill my rollover every time with that. But right now we doing pretty good. Next up is the easy mini cash budget, 1000 or less savings challenge planner. And in this planner, we have decided to do the we, because I hope you guys are doing this right alongside me, we have decided to do the $200 savings challenge, okay? So we're just gonna try to save $200. I'm going across this first row. I'm just, you know, she just, that's how I'm doing it. But this row has a 10, a four, a four, and a five, so that's $19. I think I can give that up today, so we're gonna do that one today. And that is one, two, uh-oh, two, three, 
for $19. Now in this particular binder, I don't have one for that challenge, which I don't know why, but I put it in this, let's say for 50, but it's not, let's say for 50. It's a $200 challenge. Was that right? There was $4 before? Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna put 19 in there. So let's go ahead and put this and take out a 20. I'm feeling good about that. 20, one, two, three. Okay, so there's $23 in this challenge and that will eventually climb up to 200. All right, next. And that's it for the, that's the only challenge I'm doing in this book because I only wanna do one challenge at a time. And that's the one challenge in the Easy Mini Cash Budget 1000 or Less Savings Challenge Planner. This has over 30 challenges that are 1000 or less. Like I said, click the link down below. You can digitally download it from Etsy or get the actual physical book from Amazon. All right, let's move on to the next challenge. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. Okay, last time this thing had me messed up. So I'm not gonna sing too many songs until I get done. All right, there we go. All right, let's start on number one. Section one. Ooh, I want to. I want to color one that says $20. So 20, we will save on this side. We're not gonna get through all of them. I said that last time and I mean that this time. 20 on that side and let's see what this has to offer. See, do you understand what I'm saying? My little money gonna be gone before I even get going. 24, okay, so 20 and 24 equals $44 on card number one. <laughs> I have enough. Let me stop. The world is abundant and plentiful as evidenced by my cash tray. 20, 41, two, three, four. Okay, so I have $24. Um, it looks like a lot over there, but I think it's mainly fives and tens, so, and ones, so yeah. We're gonna do the best we can. There's 20, 40, 60, 81, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 121. 121. I hope I said that right. All right. That's that for section one. Let's move on to section two. Session two. All right, let's see, what do we have over here? Stop playing around, stop owing IOUs. Y'all said I always got an IOU. I do, I do. I don't want one today. So we're gonna see what we could do. Let's do $8. Well, an eight is a good, nice number on this side. All right. So it looks like this. So eight is done on that side. Now on this side. <sighs> okay. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. Come on, $28. I have that over there. I have a few tens over there. I know so I got $28. I'm gonna be joyful until I have to cry. Right now, I could be joyful. 28, 20, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 25, six, seven, eight. All right, let's get the cash out for this section. This is section two. Yeah, section two. Uh, my vibrato. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Only 92. The other one had more in that section. Wait, was this this one? Yeah. The other one had more. That's okay. 92 for this section. Let's keep going. Section three. Oh, what does my money say? My money say stop playing. My money say stop playing right now but um, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, let's ask Siri for a money ball, okay? It could be in any number between one and nine. Hey Siri, can you please give me a random number between one and nine, please? A random number between one and nine is six. Bam, thanks Siri. All right, number six. Let's see, where's six? Right here. All right, so $6 on that side. Go low, go low. Oh Every time I think I'm gonna scratch a three, I scratch a 28. <laughs> oh my God, 28 plus six? Is that all my money? Wait, I have that much, I have that much. Stop it, stop it, 28 plus six. 
34. Okay, I feel like I have that much. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> she needs to stop while she's ahead. 31, 2, 34. All right, 34. It didn't seem like I would have it, but I had enough of that. So that's good. Okay, 34. Come on out of there. Come on. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta count it up for the people. All right. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 dollars even. Yes. Okay. This or that yet. Okay, I better be doing just that. Oh, that is bingo. Okay, let's do that. I didn't do bingo last time. I'm not gonna keep skipping bingo. That's what I'm not gonna do. Okay, so let me get a bingo app going. All right, so I got it going. It had N32, but I don't have that one, thank goodness. So we're gonna keep drawing. Call next number, 51, G50, oh yeah, nope. 54, how about 55 or 53? Nine. Oh, I do have nine. B nine. B nine. B mine. That's a great number, actually. Look how close this is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? Thank you, bingo game. Thank you. Oh, but I didn't do this other side yet. Um. Um. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I get the feeling I probably won't scratch a seven. And since I'm not doing an IOU, let me see what I could do with $7. Hold on, let me add this over here first, $9. I'm not doing no IOU today, ma'am. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 70, 65, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, 70, 75, but that is a this or that challenge. We got pretty far today. Oh, look at me forgetting about one dime at a time. I gotta say it like that because I'm really excited about it. Okay, so seven, seven dollars. There's gotta be a way to add this up to seven dollars. Come on, 250 and no, oh, no, no. Wait, 50, no, wait. No. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just think this through. It has to be a way to do seven dollars. Fifty cents and six fifty. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dollars will be fifty cents and six fifty. And hold the line while I color, please. I owe who? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I owe nobody. I done figured it out. Her brain got it together at the end. We're gonna add $7 to this one. And how much does it have now? 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. There's almost $600 in this little this or that. I'm not gonna call it out and count it up like that. We will at the end. But literally each section, there's six sections, has about $100 or more. So there's like $600 in here already. You don't knock it off. That's a this or that. I am gonna do a bill condensing because I don't want it to get like super fat. So I'll add nothing but large bills when I get to 100 next cash stuffing just to clean it up. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this or that challenge, head down to my Amazon storefront. You can purchase just one card if you want. If you purchase two or more cards, it'll come with the cover sheet that you check off, which is this. So once you complete a challenge, you can mark it off on the back here. You can mark it off on the back here. So it will come with that for free if you order two or more cards. But if you order just one, that's enough. That will get you started on some scratch offs and say and some scratch off as well as a save challenge on the back. And so yeah, you too could be a part of this or that. All right, let's move on. I always know it's the end of the video when I start cleaning up everything, putting everything away. Nothing else is going into the binders. Nothing else is going to be used with the calculator. We have come to the end of this video. I wanna appreciate you guys. I want, I want to thank you guys for being here. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you are a real one, trust me, you already know who you are. Put the emoji right here that's on the screen down in the comment section and that way I'll know you a real one. Also, I need to pull the winner 
for the 100 envelope box. So expect that announcement in my very next video. So show up and see if it was you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to look around in some previous videos and find the giveaway. All right, um, let's see. Don't forget to like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might need this content. And also share the video with someone if you know that they need a little help in budgeting or organizing their money. All right, I think that is everything for today. Oh my goodness, this video seemed to have gone so fast, but I'm sure it'll be a little bit long. Anyway, I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care.